Hi guys! Oh, whoa. My video is looking very, very, um, I think I should say bright, which I love about that. But hey guys, um, welcome back. Yes, my nails made out of Play-Doh because... Why not? Um, so today, I decided for uh, the video that I would do on a random video and just talk about whatever comes to mind because I like doing talking videos. I don't know. I'm weird like that. So I like doing talking videos about like storytelling and stuff like that. So... Today's story time is about the time that, uh, I lost my ring. A lot of times, actually. So, I have this friend. And me and her were, like, best friends. But now we're just, like, not like, as close as we were. But, um, so I had this... She used to always wear a ring. And so then I decided, since my best friend used to always wear a ring, I think I should wear a ring so that we match. So I started wearing this pinky ring. And ever since, I kept losing it and losing it. One time, it was at the school playground, and it was a very small ring. So, I lost it, and so I was jumping around because I was really happy. I don't know the reason why I was happy. I just know I was happy. And so I was jumping up and down, wearing my hoodie. Then, I noticed my ring fell off. And then, I just started to cry because that was a very special ring to me. And so, ever since that, my friend was looking all around the mulch to find the ring. And a lot of people lose their stuff because of the mulch and the way it blends. Everything blends in with mulch. And people get hurt because of mulch. Why would you decide to put a playground full of splinters? Anyway. Um. Because, yeah, it obviously won't hurt when people land on splinters. But anyway. Like I was saying. Um. So, it was getting near the end of recess. And then, um, one of the, like, recess people blew the whistle and so when she blows the whistle we know it's time to go back in and so i was really sad but as soon as she blew the whistle my friend she picked up my ring and she screamed i found it and so i hugged her and like i was so happy then one time we had a sleepover and i was at her house we were like riding like we were riding <laughs> skateboards on our boot on our booties so it was like we were on our butts, and we'd be, like, riding the skateboards on our butts. So, it was weird. Because, like, we didn't know how to ride it on, like, feet. So, we were just riding skateboards on our butts. And then, um, myself decided to go crazy on the sidewalk with the skateboard. And then I fell. My ring flew all the way into the road. And, yes, we, it, it camouflaged with the road. My friend was looking for it in the road. She could have gotten run over. And then as soon as the car was coming by, she found it and ran back. So, my friend almost risked her life just for my ring. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, uh, yeah, pretty much my friend risked her life for my ring. Just for my ring. And then I lost it again. She found it. Lost it again. She found it. It's like every single time I lost my ring, I was around her. And then she found it. It was so weird. Because like I never lost my ring when I was not around her. So it was kind of creepy and weird at the same time. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this view. I will link her channel in the description. And, um, yeah. So... Um, yeah, <laughs> I have nothing else to say for this video, but thank you guys for watching it and sharing my experience of losing my ring 10,000 times and then my friend finding it for me. Thank you so much for finding my ring <laughs> because if it wasn't for you, I'd probably be a sad, lonely, so without a ring. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!